one side to the other. <coughs> now, <coughs> let's go back to this abdominal cavity teaching <coughs> that's going to be with me for the next couple of months. <coughs> when you do an asymmetrical pose, this area <coughs> in what I call the abdominal cave, roof is here, floor is here, side walls are here, <coughs> and the back of the abdominal cave is the front of the sacrum. When you do a asymmetrical pose, the abdominal walls can't be parallel. So based on what I'm experiencing in my body, this is the long side. This is the short side. So if I was working musculoskeletally and I wanted to make my abdominal cave um, more parallel, on my exhale, I might pull my body back like this. In other words, I'm tilted this way. But I don't want to do it with musculoskeletal work. I want to do it with respiratory work. So I let the inhale happen wherever it happens. Then I might exhale. This is the short and narrow side. I'm going to push the breath alone back that way and that way. So I'm going to make the change inwardly from my breath. So the breath is going to move my anatomy and not the muscles in the skeleton. Body to the heel. Heel slightly to the outside and turn. <coughs> Major quad stretch, you'll feel how one side is different than the other. Now into the abdominal cave with the breath. Take the lid out to the side. I'd give it a shot.